Hey everyone, I'm Madonna. Happy New Year to all of you. So it's New Year and a new beginning. Every year we say the same thing. New Year, new beginning. This is going to be my year. I'm going to rock this year. I'll do that. I'll do this. And we take up New Year resolutions. But are we able to keep up with the resolutions? No. Maximum one month. After that, everything, boom, gone. So what can we do to keep up with this resolution? And why does this resolution uh, breaks off? Why are we not being able to follow the resolution? What I've learned from my life experiences and I've read some things from the book is that uh, for our, uh, when we take a new re resolutions, we take big, big decisions which we are not able to follow. Maximum one week is what we do and then it breaks. Why is that so? Because we take up big, big decisions and many decisions. We try to bring new habits. We try to bring, uh, we try to make big changes in our lifestyle. So we are not being able to follow it because we've already had a lifestyle and a habit. And when we try to bring out a big change in that lifestyle and that habit, we are not being able to follow it. So instead of bringing out big changes and big uh, decisions, try to aim low. That's what Jordan B. Peterson said. Aim low. By, but by aiming low, it doesn't mean that don't aim for your goal. You should aim for your goal and then you should aim low. Start by aiming low. For example, start by making your own bed. Start by at, reading at least 10 pages a day. Instead of saying, I'll wake up at 4 a.m. every day, I'll go to bed at 10 a.m. That won't happen because uh, suddenly when we try to bring out the change for one week is what we do and then we go back to the normal timing. So instead of saying 10, a, uh, 10 p.m. to uh, 4 a.m. timing, do it 10 minutes. I'll go 10 minutes earlier to bed than my usual time. 10 minutes, I'll wake up 10 minutes earlier than my usual time. So by this, you can uh, bring out the change from 10 minutes to 20 minutes, then to 30 minutes, then to one hour, and then finally to the desired time which you want to go to bed and then which you want to wake up. So when we do this, we bring out a gradual change in our lifestyle, in our habits, gradually. And then finally, by aiming low, we step up, step up, step up, take a step, and then we reach the goal, we reach the destination. So, so this is what we have to do. This new year, everyone, we have to take up resolutions and we have to try to bring new habits in our life, make a healthier life. So what we'll have to do, we'll have to aim low. We have to aim for our goal. We have to aim low. We'll try to bring out the changes in our life by taking small, small, tiny, tiny steps and then finally reach our desired goal. So we must have patience. We must uh, be consistent. Very important. If we are not consistent, then our goals won't happen. We should have patience. We, can't, we cannot see our results uh, within one week or one month. It might take six months, a year, two years, three years. So patience, consistence and don't aim for perfectionism. When we look out for perfectionism in everything, what we think is now we are afraid to go to gym because, oh, I'm not perfect. I will look very odd. I will look very ugly. I will look weird. I don't know. So I won't go to gym. See, if you don't know one thing, you will have to start from the scratch. And that's how you can uh, be perfect in that thing. So. Uh, don't aim for perfectionism. Start by scratch. Start by not knowing anything. And then start from zero, they say. And then we'll uh, slowly get better with our consistency, with our patience, and then organizing it, everything. So that's that. What I have to say to you all for New Year. that uh, Make your resolutions happen. And you can do it. You just have to have faith in yourself, faith in the Lord, and everything will be perfect. So Happy New Year to all of you.